What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. Okay guys, so we have co-op content out right now with Ramu was, I guess, dropped yesterday and I was sick, so I unfortunately forgot about this. But I want to talk about something I think that's very important. Um, a lot of people have had many complaints, and rightfully so, about the issues about co-op. So, I want to talk about how to be part of the solution and not be part of the problem. Now, the problem, of course, being the fact that many people join co-op and they use just DPS. They don't care how they build a DPS. They go AFK, they set it on auto, and they, they just jump in, and they hope that somebody will carry them. Let's stop this, okay? Because I know this is a major issue for a lot of people. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what I would recommend in terms of builds and how to deal with this. So the main thing to know is that with Ramu, it's a tough, tough fight. If you don't know the mechanics of Ramu, I suggest going back and watching a video from one of the content creators or understanding how it works. Now, if you're going to play DPS, understanding that DPS's role is, of course, to damage and make sure that you have the proper equipment set is what's going to matter more than anything. So let's go ahead and build a quick DPS here for Ramu and show you guys how to probably pro properly handle it. Okay, so well, I'm going to use Cloud as my main my main DPS here. Okay, so I'm going to set Cloud up here for a Ramu fight. Now, if you're going to build a DPS, first thing to note is that Cloud with the maritime sword and the maritime out with the sailor outfit is probably your best dps for this fight if you don't have the maritime sword or the maritime outfit then you may want to consider a separate role especially for the tougher fights like this or you might might want to consider having yourself a higher end with terra blow whether it's four or five star okay so first i'm going to do i don't have the the sailor's sailor um, outfit but i have this one which will help with physical ability and hp boost so i'm going to equ equip that and then i'm going to go to my swords I'm going to find my best water damage sword, okay? Now, another good option here is Lucia with Hydro Shot. Uh, who else is there that has water damage? Um, Zach with his newest weapon, the Black Whisker, which does defense, physical defense down and water damage uh, reduction, resist down, right? So a lot of good options here, but let's just use Cloud as an example for DPS, okay? So we're going to go Maritime Sword here. Here's my free-to-play Maritime Sword. Going to equip that. That's going to give you water damage. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to equip myself the hard edge now the reason why hard edge is equipped is i want to reduce the physical defense of ramu as much as possible while putting out physical water defense on him okay or water attack on him sorry he does do physical defense up so this weapon here is going to be a, pl a major role in reducing that as much as possible okay so make sure you do that guys now we don't have a limit break here that can do a lot of damage on him that that for example is a water we don't have leviathan essentially right so here you can either choose hellfire or you can choose uh, shiva or you can choose your normal limit break cross slash it's up to you on this one what you want to go with okay 2400 damage versus uh where is this hellfire here 2275 2275 okay so your call completely on this i'm going to stick with just cross slash for now okay just because we're going to continue do, do using that limit so we'll go equip okay now for actual materia this is what's going to matter a lot so first off note that he has i believe it's triangle right triangle and circle let's just double check here again triangle and diamond sorry triangle and diamond okay so first you want to make sure that you have the proper materia setup. So here I'm going to use this just because this one here gives me crazy stats. I'm going to equip that on, okay? And then here I'm going to put Watera Blow just in case Maritime Sword is a little slow on some of the damage. So increase that. And then lastly, I'm going to put in the triangle one, okay? So find yourself a good triangle setup. There we go. Filter that on. And equip the one that has the best stats for physical attack. In this case, this is the first one. We're going to equip that on there, okay? So there you guys go. Now, note that this is going to give you more sigil for circle. We don't have circle, so it doesn't really matter. You can swap these two, but I'd rather have more physical damage on here, okay? Because this is going to just do more damage overall. Now, sub-equipment, this is important to note. Again, physical attack is your job. If you're here to do damage, you're going to do physical attack, and you're also going to do health. These are the two things you definitely want to increase here. You can also put water as well too if you want to do more water damage because you are using a water weapon. That's completely up to you on that. But for now, we're going to go ahead and do physical attack there. We're going to go HP. So let's find, actually, this probably has pretty good physical attack. That one does too. Let's see here. What else? Uh, we know Bald Eagle is really good for that. So there's Bald Eagle. Now, if you look at your stats, really good so far for physical attack. Here, I would put a little more HP now. Okay, so this is where you might want to consider doing something like Let's see, uh, boost heal, sorry, boost HP is what I meant. Where is that boost HP? There it is. You might want to consider, if you have Tifa's new, new weapon, put that on, okay? Or Solid Bazooka is really good for HP as well. Like you see here, it goes to 6,400. Power Soul 6,400 gives you some P attack as well. 
and then this one here even further, right? So 2,650. So I'm gonna put that on, and this way now I also have the physical ability boost as well too on both of those, both my weapons, on the Zidane weapon and this one. So there you guys go. So this is a good cloud build, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and set this up as my equip, and we're gonna name this the Ramu build. So this is a good DPS cloud build, okay? So you can do something like this here. You're close to what they require, and you'll do enough DPS and bring yourself enough support for damage now a lot of people will do this already a lot of people are already going to build a dps okay so what what i would another option here of course is going to be one sec here guys let me just actually adjust this um can i i can't rename it can i for some reason it's not allowing me, allow me to rename oh here we go rename is here now i forgot they switched that up so this we're going to we're going to call it ramu dps okay so ramu dps sorry let me delete that Ramu DPS. Okay. So next up, option number two, go healing. This is something that a lot of people don't do in co-op. And it's unfortunate because it's going to be the best way to keep you and your group alive, obviously, right? Because most people are going to bring in DPS because that's what they have built. My suggestion, guys, if you can bring a healer, that's good. Bring a healer, that's good. It's, it's definitely worth it. Now, with Aerith, obviously going to be the best choice here, in my opinion. You can either do more HP and magic defense or more heal and magic defense. I suggest the HP for survivability purpose, so wear your free chocobo outfit. Most people are going to have this. Keep your healing wins on because, again, it's going to help overall. And then here, I would suggest either putting in following. Either the Mithril Rod, if you have it, or you put yourself the Chocobo Staff. Now, Chocobo Staff is really important, especially for those who are going to get hit with Thunderlance. Uh, this is going to help them survive quite a bit by giving them the magic defense up. So highly recommend put in the free Chocobo Staff that you have. Now, here is going to be the other options. Here, you're going to, get, you're going to put as much HP as possible and as much magic attack and healing as possible. Okay, so first we're going to focus on HP. So put that as sort. You guys can see here, this is my best HP one. Equip that. Again, you're going to need Triangle in there anyway. So you're going to need a water attack as well. This is probably my best water one, I would imagine. There it is. Perfect. And then at this point, it's up to you, okay? Um, you, want, you obviously want to put in the triangle, right? You can mix this up a little bit now. You can put triangle in instead, okay? So this will give you what you need here. You can remove this for HP purposes, right? That'll lower the HP. And you can put in something like breach, which will help reduce the physical defense. You can put in something like Mana Ward, which will reduce the magic defense. Whatever you want to do in terms of how your team is set up. So see what you jump into and make uh, make Aerith the ultimate support, right? You can give her uh, numerous different things. If you don't want to use um, the Chocobo Staff and you have the Sun Umbrella, for example, you can use that as well to reduce magic defense and physical defense as well. Just keep in mind, this is going to offer you more survivability, right? Now for sub weapons, for her, you want to put in as much heal and HP as possible. That's really, that's all that's going to matter for her. So boost HP, uh, boost heal, and you want to, you want to run it this way. Okay. So boost HP, this is going to be a, actually, this is not a very big one. We'll do this one here, which you can see here, gives you a lot of HP, right? These are, these are the, uh, the free weapons from beating Shiva, etc. This one here is going to boost to 6.8. And then Power Soul should boost you even further. Okay, so there you guys go. 8.029. 8 and there you go. That's going to be how you set up Aerith. Now you got yourself a good amount of heal, good amount of magic, and a good amount of HP. And this is going to help you guys help your team beat the content, right? Even though, again, I'm not a 64K, I'm still a fairly high enough there to, to actually help the actual, like, help the actual fight. So with Aerith as a healer, of course, keep everybody up. Whenever somebody, whenever when they're about to do Thunderlance, you put on the 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 um, the magic defense up with your chocobo staff. Even with Judgment Bolt, if you can get off two or three of those off, you're still set. AKHP is going to keep you up a long, long time, so you don't really have to worry too much about yourself. But this is a great way, guys, to help your team survive. So we're gonna just go ahead and do a random. All right, guys. So we're getting paired up here right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look and see what people are bringing. So there's a cloud. There's a cloud. Obviously, gonna bring an Aerith. You guys can see here. This guy is smart enough to bring a uh, maritime sword. He has it. This individual has Wotera Blow, so that's good. Uh, and everything else here is cross slash claw slash. So our goal here is to essentially work together. So if now because I'm I'm in this game, I know they're bringing two DPS. I'm not bringing a third DPS. A lot of people tend to do that, right? They tend to bring a third DPS, even though you don't need a third DPS, you need a healer. So we're going to try to do this together as a team. Again, be part of the solution, not the problem, right? You guys see already what the, what the setup is. You guys can obviously help out by bringing the proper solution to it. And that's what I plan to do here with my Aerith. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to note that Ramu is level 85. You want to do as many with Terra Blows as possible. But we're also going to watch, right? 
we're going to watch to see the HP here of our, of our units, make sure they're up. And then lastly, we're going to also make sure that we give the person that is going to get Thunder Lance on them the actual solid mana ward. That's going to help a lot, okay? So let's get everybody back up. And let's go ahead and do solid mana ward on, on the next person that's going to get it, going to have that done on them. So there's a lock on right there. There we go. Done done once. We can even do it twice if you had to. Like if you if you time it correctly, you could do it twice even, right? So in this case, we're not gonna do it twice. We're gonna do it once. We're gonna go defensive stance, and Thunder Lance is gonna hit, and we're just gonna heal through it. Alright? So what you guys see here, the magic, the magic defense up will help a lot. Like right, look, look, look how little that did in terms of damage. Not much at all. And then from here, just heal up quickly and get back into it. Okay? These guys are doing enough damage for you not to have to even worry about Watera. So don't even worry about it here. Just help with the Runra. And guys, don't set it on auto. Like, play semi. Unless you're, like, completely overpowering this, don't, don't play on auto. You're just going to ruin everyone else's time here by, you know, not doing this correctly. So here we go. Now, if you guys obviously have using Matt, you can use the Killer Hornet. Barrett also has another move you can use as well, too, that has this triangle move. Uh, so does Glenn. And I believe Lucia does as well. There's a couple other units as well, too, that have this. So here we go. We don't want Thunderlands to pop off, so make sure you guys break this. Oh, it looks like he's going to do it again. See, they didn't break it fast enough. And this is what I mean, right? This is why you don't want to set it to auto. We should have had somebody to be able to break that, no problem. Look at that. Look how much damage that did this time. There's no need for that to happen. Okay. You guys can see here, the person here is just doing damage and not really caring about the mechanics. Obviously, right now, it's not a problem because he's doing a lot of damage. But here we go. Let's defend here. I might be the only one actually caring about mechanics. But that's my job. That's the healer's job, right? Look, they're, they're not even attacking the sparks. They're just going straight after, after Ramu, which is fine. Again, if you can now DPS this, it's not a problem, right? But you can see his lightning thing is building up super quick. Okay. The heal here one more time. And he's gonna he's gonna hurt us if we don't we don't finish this. So see we could have we could have avoided this whole situation with that lightning bar being so high up if we just had just broken that sigil. That's that's all it is. So this is what I'm talking about, guys, right? It's simple things like that. It's just this could have been done a while ago if we had just done it properly. Thunderlands coming up. Again, overpowered, right? Only reason why we won that. We have somebody at 75k with Maritime Sword. So there you guys have it. I did my job, kept everybody up, went back to proper stances, tried to take out the sigil. But again, some of these guys did not do that. So make it, make it easier, guys. Carry your team if you have to. Do what you have to do in order to make this happen. Uh, again, it's super, super important that you guys be part of the solution, not the problem. I think a lot of people are taking, not taking into account how hard it is for people to sit here all day and try to collect themselves um, you know, or do collect all these coins and do all these things, uh, and, and just be kind of like stuck with just people on auto and bots, right? Again, be part of the solution. Stop being part of the problem. Try to help out your fellow players and make sure that you guys are contributing as much as you can properly. All right, guys, this is Payne. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope this helped out to, in order for you to build the proper setup for Ramu. Uh, again, if you go to DPS, follow my cloud setup. If you go healing, follow my air setup. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Take care.